All right, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to be doing another mod review. I haven't done one of these in a while and someone in my comment section a few videos ago brought this up to me, more specifically when it comes to this mod. And I basically just said, you know what, fuck it, why not? I need to do one anyways and I get a lot of requests for this mod, so I might as well have a video just completely dedicated to it. The mod in question is called Customizable Crosshair, or Cuss Crosshair as it likes to be called when it comes to its files. And people have always asked me, how do I get a crosshair and where can I get one? So lucky for you guys, I'm feeling generous today and I'll show you exactly how to install it and it's just gonna be a bunch of fun stuff that we're gonna go through together just one quick side note before we do anything this is a blt mod so you do need to have blt installed onto your payday and if you guys don't know how to do that i do have a video that completely talks about it i will put a card in the top right if i remember to do that when it comes to uploading this video but uh, no guarantees. You got that installed? All right, dope. So the first thing that you wanna do is go down into the description below and click on both of the Mod Workshop links. It's going to take you to the actual customizable crosshair page, as well as the BLT2 fix. That second one will be coming in later on, but make sure you guys get both of those installed. And then from then on, we are going to have to extract both of them. When it comes to extracting files, I personally use WinRAR. That's just me. If you guys use 7-Zip, it'll still work perfectly fine. But what you wanna do is you wanna extract both of those files to your desktop. And then from then on, we have to move one of them into the directory and then the other one we'll still worry about later. <laughs> All right, now we need to get into the Payday 2 directory. And how to do that is you need to go find your Payday on your Steam library, right click on it and go to properties. After that, up in the top tab, go to local files and then first button should be browse local files. And then you'll see everything, the root of your payday. Congratulations. And from this point forward, if you guys already know and you already installed BLT, or you just did, you should know that there is now a mods folder in your payday 2 directory. What you want to do is you want to open up the folder that is on your desktop for the customizable crosshair, not the fix, just the normal one. And you want to drag that folder into your mods folder and then boom you got the mod installed congratulations you you've installed a mod great since this mod has not been updated to blt 2.0 by its original creator there is a different person that has made a fix for it that allows it to be detected by blt 2.0 and allows you to customize it so that's what the second installation out of the links down in the description were for and to install this it's pretty simple it it's kind of exactly the same way as you just installed your customizable crosshair mod now so in order to get this installed properly you need to go inside of the custom customizable crosshair folder that you threw in to the uh, mods folder and inside of there should be two files you have the crosshair core dot lua and you also have a mod text file and what you want to do is you want to take the two files from the customizable crosshair blt2 fix that you installed and then replace both of those files with the customizable crosshair mod that you threw inside of the mods folder. Let it replace itself, and then boom, it works. Everything is all great now. And if you guys are curious, these are the settings that I use for customizable crosshair in-game. Do with it what you will. You can use mine, you can make your own, do whatever you want. I don't care. 
but hey, you have it installed and hopefully it is working just fine. And that is the entire goal of this video, really. Congratulations. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. It was pretty simple, really nothing too major, but uh, cool. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and favorite if you guys did. Subscribe if you have not already to not miss any of these mod related videos in the future. If you guys are curious about any other mods that I have covered, I do have a playlist as well as the video that I took you to in the first place on how to install mods in general or the main thing you need, which I might do an update video. Actually, no, I don't need to because the method is still the same. Oh, well. Anyways, if you guys are curious about any other mods, I do have a playlist that I will have at the end of the screen. Or towards the end, or it might be up now, I don't know. But anyways, I want to thank you guys so much again for watching and listening. Hopefully this guy, this video helped you guys. And if you have any other questions or concerns, do let me know in the comment section of this video below. I would be more than happy to help you guys with this mod, because it's a mod that I've used for a while and I feel like I'm fairly knowledgeable in making sure it's running smoothly. But anyways, my name is Dan, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day, guys.